Well, it's time to once again talk about the town of Oyster Bay and one of my favorite memes here. Uh, they're only looking out for the snobs. I'll picture it here is your town of Oyster Bay, town supervisor and his team. All preppy people that only care about Mass Peak. Well, they don't care about the rest of the town. And uh, we're going to talk about this incident in Hicksville, which uh, they actually covered on, on South Shore 12. It's in a violent- it's actually being News 12 today because I actually covered... They actually covered this. So, uh, and this is just the kind of thing that would happen in Hicksville. Um, a man accused in a violent home invasion in Hicksville is in court this afternoon. Police say he attacked three men with a sword. And that's not the only bizarre twist here. As the search yep. for more suspects continues, News 12's Nicolette Schleisman is story. in Hempstead with more. Nicolette? Yeah, so Simranjit Singh was in front of a judge that judge set bond or excuse me bail at one million dollars cash two million dollars for a bond now nassau police are still looking for the other men that are involved in this the 27 year old singh is facing multiple charges including attempted murder burglary and assault now according to police he was arrested at the home on here. princess street in hicksville police say a group of men went into that home through a basement door just before two o'clock yesterday morning and attacked the five men who were sleeping inside according five men sleeping inside were they sleeping inside the basement because that would be an illegal apartment. Well, that's something the town of Waste Bay should be doing something about. Isn't that right, Joe Saladino? Isn't that right? No, we're only looking out for the snobs. We don't care about Hicksville. So it's probably a flop house. It's probably a flop house, an illegal rental. Probably could be even legals in there for all we know. All right? But this is what they bring to the community. Uh, this is what they bring. This is happening all over the Mid-Island area. All right? Well, everybody in the South Shore can, t- can get to be largely safe from this kind of crap. So let me resume the story here. According to the felony complaint, three of the victims were attacked by a sword and say they knew Singh and were able to identify him as the attacker. So Another maybe man was beaten with a smuggling. piece of wood and the butt of a gun, and the fi- victim was beaten but not injured. A car in front of the home also was damaged. Now, according to police, the victims were able to subdue Singh until police arrived. Now, in that complaint, detectives say Singh admitted to police, quote, I took the sword and damaged the, co- the car and, quote, they owe me about 15000 Now, Singh's defense attorney what? says that he didn't do any of the damage to the victims themselves and says charges are well beyond what the people will be able to uh, prove. And the judge did uh, order an issue of protections well, no, for the victims be, as well. And again, in. Nassau police are still looking for the other people involved. Back to- so this is what goes on in the middle, 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 middle island folks. This is what goes on in the Mid-Island. Uh, you know, we go to maps and, you know, you know, Hicksville, Cecil and Princess. That's right by the mall. I'll show you where this is here. Very familiar with Princess Street. Here's Princess Street. And we've got to find Cecil. Yeah, right by the mall. So here's the mall right here. Roadway Commons Mall. And here's Cecil Place. And you wonder why I don't go to this area no more. I actually, I think I know where it is. I think I know where this, this flop house is. Because when I went to Hicksville, I would see... Or that's Nevada. No, my princess is the other way. The other side. But you can have flop houses here. I'm wondering if it's this this one right here. This is Princess and Cecil right here. They tried to sell this house. Look, look. Look what we have in the driveway here. Look at all these cars with no license plates on them. This is what you get here. Oh, look, the house is for sale again. Yeah, they were trying to sell that house, and I think it got bought up by a slumlord. But this is what's going on in a lot of neighborhoods here. The slumlords buy up the houses. They move all the problems in. They move the illegals in. You get all this criminal activity. Then the people who are left, the homeowners, like, I got to get out of here. And they sell their home. They're desperate. They're like, oh, well, you know, we'll just sell it to a slumlord because they're just desperate to run. They're running for their lives as the neighborhood goes and tanks, and this is what happens. Um, this is the kind of stuff that's been going on in, in the Mid-Island. It's happening in Mineola, too. It's happening in a lot of areas. There's another flop house over here. That's right by the mall, too, I might add. Let's see if we're on the right street. I think we are on the right street. Let's see. It's over here. Yeah, this one right here. Oh, we see. Actually, no, it's not this street. It's the next one. This is Nevada Street. So this is why I don't go to Hicksville no more. Yeah, look at this. Look at this house here. This is all town of Oyster Bay, right? We're, we're, we knock down zombie homes. We care about the quality of life. You know, really, really. No, they don't. 
No, they don't, because they allow this to sit and fester. Nothing gets done. That's a flop house, too. All right? You know, it's okay, but no, not you would, in Massapequa, you would get none of this. None of this. No, no none of this. We don't, you don't get any of that in Massapequa. No, and, and there's, there's another dilapidated building over here, too. That's related to another thing that was the one that was arrested with Eng Mangato. Remember this? This has been sitting here abandoned for I don't know how long. This is all very, very run down. This is Beth Page. But again, middle of the island. We don't care, right? Middle of the island. No, we're not going to do anything about it. You know, but you go into Mass Pequa. Well, look at how everything is peachy keen in Mass Pequa. It's like the same, the very same road down into Mass Pequa and see how wonderful and neat everything looks. This is actually North Mass Pequa, but it's still looking. Ah, oh, it's all taken care of. Look at that. No potholes. I don't see beat up cars. It's all taken care of because a certain demographic lives there. It's all you gotta live with them if you want to have a good quality life on Long Island. This is just more proof of it. This is just more proof of it. it really is. It's just more proof. Mass Pequa. Look at how just. I mean, everything's just well taken care of here in Mass Pequa. Look at that. All taken care of. Look at that. They're repaving the road here. That's why it looked like that. They're repaving the road. All right. It's all new pavement they put in here. Even though I have a feeling the road was fine, actually. Let's take a look. Yeah, the road was fine. But they decided, well, yeah, a few cracks here and there. Let's give it new pavement. You know, important people live here. They deserve to have new pavement, you know. But the rest of us, well, we get to deal with we get to deal with stuff like this. So, you know, that's been my another rant on this kind of crap, you know. And, of course, yeah, of course. You know, the plan still exists to force people out of Long Island. You know, um, it still exists, but other states have their own freaking issues. And Long Island is a great place to live if you can live on the South Shore. And that's why I got to fight like hell. Maybe even, you got to get in there. It's the only place on Long Island we're going to have a good quality of life. The rest of the island has gone to crap. And you're going to deal with stuff like this, and it's going to get worse and worse as more of these illegals pour in. So, thank you for watching, and take care.